Uh, welcome to the uh, 52nd Southampton Boat Show. Uh, here on display at the Salton's Marina stand, we have the uh, Sealex 7.5. Salton's brokerage are the sole dealers of the Sealex product for the UK. Uh, and we're supplying all of the boats for over 10 years into the UK to different markets. Here we have the 7.5, which is the latest boat to the range. Um, it incorporates uh, larger drive wheels, um, different configurations on layouts on the boat. What we've found over the years, our customers' requirements have changed quite a bit and they want more sociable layouts, which this is the sociable layout uh, 7.5 configuration. It incorporates um, a seat up here on the bow and underneath here we have the anchor locker. We also have an additional seat here in front of the console we have done some modifications to this boat where we've had requirements for customers wanting sunbathing areas, which we've fitted into the bow here. The boat itself is an aluminium plated hull uh, with a subframe chassis running through it, giving it its full strength. Up against other brands, um, this is a very, very strong boat and it has purely been designed from the ground upwards as an amphibious craft. The uh, console here is the new style console. It has a folding windscreen, so if you have areas uh, like garages where you want to store the boat and you have height restrictions, this does fold. Also, the inboard engine is incorporated inside the console here, along with the hydraulics as well. Um, so it's all hidden away on the boat, whereas on the earlier models, you would find it underneath the seat, uh, which would take up space inside the cockpit. The dash layout is fantastic. We're using a 16-inch uh, plotter here which has the depth sounder, fish finder. It also can incorporate a bow camera, giving you uh, full video footage of what's in front of you on beach landings. And also when you're driving the boat at speed around on the roads, it gives you a really good uh, visibility off, the, off of the bow of the boat. The starting procedure of the boat is a lot more simple up against the older styles. You have electronic switching panel here, so at the touch of a button, you press the start, the engine starts up, and then you can increase the revs or decrease the revs electronically. You have switches here to lift the legs up and down. Um, and once you've lifted the legs, you're onto the hydraulic drive, driving the boat forwards and backwards at whatever speed you require. We're also incorporating a diff lock into the drive system, which if you are in softer ground and if uh, you lose traction, you can press this button, which will then lock up um, a hydraulic valve, which equals the pressure to all three wheels, pulling you out of any sticky situations. On the boat itself, it has two suspension seats here, uh, which are great. Um, when the weather gets rough, it really gives you some good support and comfort whilst driving the boat. This boat is also fitted with the largest stereo system, um, which incorporates an amplifier, a sub and six speakers. We also have the Bimini top on here, which is great. Gives you a lot of protection. It's a really good rigid frame. Um, throughout the boat, the boat is built so well and so tough. Uh, you can see here, it's a very, very thick frame with a nice tall Bimini, uh, giving you some protection. And also, uh, if the weather's not that great, it also gives you a bit of protection from that as well. So here we have the, uh, the wet bar layout. Uh, this is something that comes with the social layout on the boat which is um, really different to uh, the previous sea legs. And um, just what it offers you is a little sink. On the later models now, what we're doing is changing out the tap and putting in a shower. Uh, so it's a combination tap and shower. So if you're out swimming, as you come up the ladder, you can pull out the shower, shower yourself off with fresh water, and you're ready to go back onto the boat. In the console area here, you can see we've got drinks holders, lots of LED lighting in all the drinks holders and stuff. Um, and also you've got USB charging points for phones or if you wanted to inflate the tubes, you've got a dinghy inflator, the tube inflator that plugs in. Um, so real ease to inflate tubes and that on the boat. Towards the back of this layout, what we have are two drawers. Uh, they're very deep drawers that pull out and also a refrigerator as well, um, which also has quite a bit of depth, which is great. And also a freezer section at the top. Under here is a little rubbish bin as well, 
which we've incorporated into the boat. Um, and then back here, you've got the social seating layout. These, the, the upholstery on this, uh, on this boat and also the parts on the boat are fully customised customizable so you have this part of the boat which is uh, the features so you can change this to any other any color pretty much that you would require also the dash and also the tube features as well to match up on the boat so you can customize your boat we tend to find that most customers uh, are really ordering the boats in black and this has been a really popular tube which is the uh, Hyperlon Orca 866 uh, carbon impression, which is a really nice tube, and also it's the toughest hyperlon material out there in the marketplace. As we walk to the stern of the boat, you can see again we've incorporated some drinks holders back here. You've got the A-frame on the back, which is designed for skiing. We have uh, an attachment up here, so if you're wakeboarding or skiing, you have a high up uh, location where you can ski off, and that's, that's great. Here on the boat, we have the rail blazer fitting. Um, these can be used in different locations on the boat for different products to mount into here. So this one here is designed for a fishing rod holder. So the fishing rod holder fits in, and then what you have is a lock. So the fitting goes into there, position it where you want, lock it in, and it's fixed. There's also different um, areas where you can fit these for different products, like a device holder on the dash. So if you wanted to, you could have the same base fitting on the dash, and have a mobile phone holder on there as well. Um, we also use these fittings for bimini's um, to secure onto the tubes and you can quick release them very quickly with these uh, fittings which are great. Um, going back to the boat and the build, um, obviously this is an aluminium boat, um, so it's an aluminium completely constructed boat with a subframe chassis that runs through it giving it its full strength. As mentioned there are a lot of uh, great great parts about the sea legs and uh, through the years obviously uh, the guys have learned a lot over manufacturing up to 1700 boats to date. Uh, currently we have about 270 sea legs being operated in the UK um, and our customers are really really enjoying the experience and as mentioned the craft is just getting better and better. You can see going back through some parts on the boat now with the new systems we have obviously larger wheels um, giving you better traction and higher speeds. Um, on softer ground you can deflate these to give you a big, bigger footprint on the tyre. We also have the drive pumps here. Uh, all three wheels are driven and we're also incorporating a braking system which the earlier boats didn't have. So whenever the boat is left or whenever the engine is turned off, the inboard engine running the, the wheels, the brakes apply. So you can now leave the boat on a gradient um, and the boat will stay in that position. We've gone for large, large uh, leg brackets here, as you can see, big aluminium castings, keeping the weight down, but obviously keeping the strength there. Um, and then the huge sea legs rams, which are really over-engineered for what the boat needs to do, which, which is great. This boat is fitted with a 200 horsepower Yamaha, which uh, what we've done is custom painted it to match the boat. And this is something else that we can do to customize our boats for our customers. We've also incorporated a step onto the back of the boat, which is kind of a new feature. On the earlier boats, you stepped onto the wheel when it was down and then stepped over into the back. With this step here, it's great. It gives you easier access getting on and off the boat. The hull itself is all aluminium and a bare aluminium hull. The whole idea of this is you can come into any landing, go down onto a beach, lower the boat down as we've got it displayed here, you can then load the boat up with all the people with easy access with the tube being literally 40 centimetres, 50 centimetres off the ground, load it up with everybody, pick it up off the floor and drive off. If you enjoyed our videos here uh, showing the sea legs, please subscribe to our YouTube channel as we will be updating with lots more features uh, in the future. Thanks for watching.